Hello, my name's Nathan Bachelor. I'm an average animator, and uh, we are back rigging this character. He kind of looks like a middle-aged man with uh, his hair like that. I'm gonna go ahead and hide that. Uh, th you might find this useful, but I learned something uh, quite interesting. So, I had a little problem I ran into concerning the eyebrows. So, uh, let me show you what you mean. So, I'm gonna cut here and show you something later. Now that we're back, let me show you what I mean. So prior, the eyebrows uh, normally, when they nor animate normally, they move down like this. And so as you can see, there's a little bit of clipping going on with the meshes and I don't want that. And so I was wondering, okay, how can I fix that? So one of the things I tried doing is I selected them and I rotated them a little bit, like that much or something. And I went back, and then I hit Control A, Apply Poses, Rest Pose, and then I worked it like that. And so then it would move down like that, and as you can see, it kind of solves a problem. However, I didn't really like it like that. I didn't want you to have to have the eyebrows set to local for when you're moving it up and down, so it would move like that. I, I didn't like it. So I was thinking, okay, well, how can I fix that? And so I tried some things and I found an interesting solution for my problem. It's not perfect, but it, it, it's good enough. So what I've done is I applied a shrink wrap modifier, a shrink wrap uh, constraint for the bones. So what I ended up doing is I duplicated the head and then I created this mask of sorts. It still has weighting on it. It's all weighted to the head. And what it is, is this S is asking kind of like a shrink wrap mask. So the reason I had to duplicate this and have it so that the weighting was set all the way to the head was so when the bones went, so when the brow went up and down, I didn't have to worry about the mask below it deforming, you know, like this. And so you might be wondering, okay, so what does this shrink wrap uh, constraint do? Well, allow me to show you by hitting undo a lot to undo all the shrink wrapping nonsense I did. Okay, how much do I got? It didn't really do much. So I'm just gonna turn all these back on. Are you having a lovely day? My day's going all right, how about you? I went to church today. It was very nice, good message. And so what happens when you put the shrink wrap ma constraint on, I've set it to outside and I've adjusted the distance to about 0.4. 0.04. That was about perfect for me. So now the snap mode is set to the outside mode nearest surface point. And so now when it goes down, it's riding on top of this extra mesh. Now when I pull the mesh, the eyebrows away from the head, it, it doesn't work. But when I press it into it, it pushes against this mesh, which is really interesting. And it works, this will work just fine though for what I'm trying to achieve because as far as a deformation, we don't have to worry about anything that complicated. I mean, even so, it's not a big deal to just ride the eyebrows up a little bit. That's not gonna be a big problem. And even so, um, it'll be just fine for this particular character. So this was a little solution I found for the eyebrows. So yeah, might split this into its own mini video, but you know, I, I think I'm good. I'll just go ahead and keep going. If you like, I can split this into its own video and make it a chapter. Yeah, because that's what YouTubers do. I'm totally a YouTuber. I'm such a good YouTuber. So good. So what I'm doing here right now is I'm just uh, gonna, have to, gonna go ahead and delete all these extra weights because we only have this weight, the spine 005, that's the head. And so I'm gonna go ahead and delete all unlocked groups. And so now it's just something that makes things nice. And uh, concerning the brows, the brows actually need to be reweighted and I'm gonna hide you. Make it so, you know, you make sure whenever you have a mesh like this that's not meant to be seen, you gotta make sure you turn off the camera and the outliner. Otherwise, when you render, you'll see two meshes underneath and your animation will look very interesting. But anyway, you'll have this extra head just showing through. So anyway, let's go ahead and work on the brows. A really useful thing to do when you're rigging in Blender is go ahead and 
Go ahead and feel free to animate your controls when you're rigging. Because what you can do is when you animate them, you can... What you do when, when you're animating them is you can actually get an idea of how everything's deforming. And so if something's not deforming the way you would like, then you can check on it and fix it. And so it's really useful. It helps you understand how it's going to look when you're actually animating it. So something I've seen, I, I don't know if it'll work for this uh, rig too, but I'm going to try it. I found that when you're rigging eyebrows, it's better to put most of your weighting in the middle and then the least on the side. That way, when you're animating, the middle control will... I'll just have to show you. Almost there. Yeah, so whenever you're animating it in the middle, it actually shows more expression when you do it this way. As you can see, we've got a little... Ah! <laughs> ay, 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 I need help. No, but... Um... But you can see how it's easier to get this happy, sad kind of expression going on. I mean, this isn't perfect, but it's just something I've noticed. And so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and say, put that to maybe 6.6. .6. Yeah, that looks better. Set the weighting here to 0.6. What? No. Huh. And sometimes the weighting is like this, where you just, you're dialing it into the smallest number and so in some areas you, where it doesn't look good you just have to weight it perfectly I mean I'm somewhat OCD I like it when the mat the numbers are perfect but sometimes you, you just it's just not gonna be that way and you just have to weight it so that it works and it doesn't matter how it's weighted it matters that it works and so if you're working with clients and you're a rigger or an animator they don't care how you get from point A to point B they, they just care that you get there and that's that's all that matters. And so it's a good thing to keep in mind for whenever you're working. It's good to have things nicer if you can, but in the at the end of the day, it's not gonna matter very much. What matters is if the client is happy with the product and if they're happy with the product, hey, huzzah, that's, that's how you want it to be. And so yeah, I think this works. This is working in a way how I like it. And so how I've got this set, of course, is this is the main parent and these are the other, these are all parented to this main control. Yeah, yeah, I, I like that. I, I like that. I don't think I need to do any fancy constraining work for this. I think one thing I'll end up doing is since um, I think I'm done generating this, and when you're, whenever you're done generating a rig, whenever you regenerate a rig using Rigify, the weighting remains the same. However, when, if you don't generate any new bones, the, the weighting remains the same. However, when you're putting on constraints, the constraints get deleted. Now, I'm certain there's a way to get that to, to code it in Rigify so it can generate the constraints that you want, but I don't know how to do that. I'm not a, <laughs> I'm not a coder, unfortunately. You know, I don't think these need any constraints. Yeah, that'll be good. I'm happy with it. Now this here, these, these here. <laughs> oh boy, you're looking... Very interesting there, my dear. Oh, yo, yo. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. All right, right there. I think that's about as high as the grin will go. I just, um, before I recorded, I did some work on this already. Now, just so you know, Rigify does have a mouth rig you can go find. So this is the rig I ended up using. I deleted the face and I added my own stuff. But what you can do is you can actually add your own sample. So you see this part here, you have to be in the object data properties and you go to samples. You see you got samples here and you can search. And I searched um, jaw and it shows that it's got face skin jaw. You generate that, it always generates at the center of the world. And then you have to oh, yeah, yeah. turn off mirror, scale it up. And it's actually a jaw with lips. Oh yeah, whoops. You need to also make sure that your origin is set to median. There we go. And yeah, it's a jaw that comes with lips. It comes with lips and it comes with teeth. 
and this is very very nice i you still have to do a little bit of editing in my opinion after you generate everything to work make it work or at least the way i wanted mine to but yeah this is a really good thing to use and it's very 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 useful go back oh hello hello handsome <laughs> okay it's not that bad but i will say it will be nice to Hi. to blur this a little bit right here no not there here here a little higher and yeah i think i'm happy with that i have set my i've set hotkeys for both draw and blur draw to be d blur to be b now when you do that you need to make sure you go to your preferences and go to your key map and go to your um box search so searching name box select and you'll see that for a number of these things the key the keybind b is used for other things so if you want to replace uh, your bind with a different uh, replace uh, this action with a different action what you'll need to do is go find where it's used so mine is being used in paint vertex tool so I've turned it off what you can do is you can delete it however I do not recommend that because uh, then you lose that functionality with that key bind and you'd have to reset all your preferences in order to get that again so you just turn it off and now it's inactive if I turn it on and I hit B and so it's on and so whether I hit B or not it no longer it no longer sets uh, hits it to blur but when I go back uh, 3d paint uh, paint select vertex uh, paint vertex select I just turn it off make it inactive hit B and now I can blur frames as much as I want, which is works perfectly fine for me. You guys might have your own way of doing it, and that is just fine. Now then. You working fine, baby? You working fine, baby? Oh my goodness, this looks terrifying. <laughs> oh man, yeah, it... When we're animating this guy, this we're not gonna be, he's not gonna be smiling like this. But now since I'm done generating, I can go ahead and start adding my constraints. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to add, so what you can do, if you want, say, let's say I want this control to follow the location of this, what I do is hit your parent control, shift, select your control you want to assign your constraint to, hit control, shift, C and hit copy location ah what's going on well just go over to bone constraint properties and now set the target to local space world local space offset now what does this do this means that i can still move this while moving this and it still follows that okay so how much and now i just dial it down say i'm gonna dial it to about 0.25 i think for a smile that would probably look just fine and what's really great is what you can do is you can shift select hit control c you have to make sure that your copy attributes add-on is on so you go to your i've also set an uh, add-on uh, a shortcut for the blender preferences you how you find your preferences is you go to edit preferences and what i've done is i've set it to control alt u because that's how it used to be in blender 2.79 before they made the jump to 2.8 and you hit um, interface copy attributes menu. And so when you hit shift shift, normally when you have your copy attributes off, your interface co copy attributes off, when you have that off, normally what that'll do is it'll just copy the pose. It'll just normally copy the pose. So it's, it's being a little weird right now, but normally it would just copy the pose, which is nice, but when you have it on and hit control C, you get all these other stuff you can copy, which is very, very useful. And I recommend having it on. And what you can do is I can hit control C to 
to copy so copy constraints of location and now it's following the L location we just have to set that to R so now it follows this guy's location and not this guy and then we just do the same thing so I'm gonna select this guy then to, to, to this guy to this control C location well is he upside down he is upside down okay then we set that to Z the Z to invert and now oh no all right how, all right now hold on X and we invert X and then Y okay good Y is still the same and so when I place these bones in the meta under the meta rig I've um, flipped them upside down the idea was so if I was moving things on the local axis, that way they'd all move the same direction and all these guys would move in the same direction, etc., etc. And uh, you can uh, position it the way you want, but you don't have to. It's not a requirement. And so this one is select constraints, which means you select if you've got multiple constraints, you can select which ones you want. And then this one is just select constraints. And so did that. Ah, what do we do? Same thing. Z, X, we're good. We are, as the young kids say, and my friends hate it when I say it, Gucci. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, so, oh, whoa, 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 not that. Okay. There we go. All right, so the weighting is a little off. It's a little off from how I want it to be. That is such a weird smile. It is such a weird smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. Oh no. <laughs> let's try. Let's try putting this down. All right, all right, all right. 0.17. Let's try. Let's try that. Okay, if you hover your mouse over a number slider thing like this and hit Control C, then hover over another and hit Control V, it'll actually paste it, and you can do that for everything, for anything that's got numbers in it. It's very nice. But oh my word. Okay, um, that looks far less menacing. <laughs> he still looks kind of menacing. Oh. <laughs> Little joys, my friends. Little joy. Oh my word. All right, this looks the most normal. All right, now let me see. Now we got the uh, smooth view on. Now I like to check. So this character is going to be subdivided when we render him. And so it's good to check how your subdivisions look because that's how it's going to look in the final render. Okay, now then, let me see. Waiting is off here. So let us... Let us see about fixing that, eh? Lips. Okay. Let me see. Now let us try... Okay. Let's, that, that, that looks okay, 0.6. Let's try that. How does that look? Oh darn it, I didn't set my things. All right, hold on. There we go. Da, da. Da 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 Uh, and I need to open the mouth again. All right, Bill.
you are going to open your mouth for me and then we will work. Lovely, thank you very much for cooperating, comrade. All right, now let's close it again. And then... Hold on, hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. All right. There's still a little bit of gap going on here. Oh, hold on. Oh no, they're in, they're intersecting. Okay, perfect. Now, if it's intersecting a little bit, that's okay. Now what we need to do is make sure Okay, now this is the problem. And the problem is this is how it looks when it's intersecting. Now, generally when you're animating, you're gonna work with rigs that are not perfect. And so in which case, if the rig's not perfect, you're just gonna have to... Oi. Oh, got that on. But when usually when it's not perfect, you're just gonna have to deal with it and just little things like this. It's not a hard thing, but it's this is something I wanna avoid as much as possible. So then this is just more weighting needs to be applied. So let's say try 7, 0.7. How much this will affect it. Hmm, I don't know. I gotta pee, I'll be back. Ugh. I have returned from my body break. It was very relaxing and I will tell you no more about it. All right, so what we can also do is how much more waiting? No, 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 no. Okay, so let me see. I'm gonna try applying more weight to the bottom. Yep, that, that'll about do, that'll about do it. That's, that's perfect, actually. Yeah, wonderful, I love it. Now, before all that, before I celebrate and I do a happy dance, which I'm not gonna do because I got a blanket on and I'm happy with it. Just gonna move everything up. Perfect. Now we have a straight line. That's what we want. I want that. And do we have a straight line down here too? We do. Now this means that the weighting is even. And all the weighting is even all the way across. No matter how much is assigned to each one, it means it's even. And that's what we want. Okay now. Now I'm gonna add constraints to this body. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to set another copy location. And you may wonder, but Nathan, why would you want me to do that? And why am I talking in a very horrible Russian accent? Well, dear viewer, dear viewer, I know there's only nine of you as of today. It is February 25th, 2023 at almost 10 o'clock p.m. How would I know this? Well, uh, I lost my train of thought. I'm just gonna keep going. But anyway, I just wanna have a control that controls most of the upper lip and uh, as I do on the sides here. So we got a corner control here that is by itself and then we got the corner main control which also controls the ones in the middle. You make me very sad, you silly program. <laughs> ay, 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 oh no. It looks good going up, but it looks bad going down. No. <laughs> that is not what I wanted. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Well, I got more waiting to fix. Regardless, uh, I can still add my constraints, so let me see. So I just want this to be like a general thing. So this will follow it like, um, 0.5? Let me think. You know what, I'll set it to 0.7 something. Yeah, 0 0.7, 0 0.71. I actually like that better. And I'll go ahead and copy the constraints there. And since it's the same bone, I want it to follow. Yeah, it'll it'll just follow like that, which is great. Now I might change the weighting a little bit so we include most of the upper lip there. 
and I'll do the same for the ones down here. And no copy constraints, except instead of following the... Oh man, where did you come from? There are more can... Hold on, there should only be two. There's three? Why are there three? I'm confused. Hold on. Okay. I don't know how it happened. Some kind of voodoo magic happened. <laughs> I can't all the extra constraints. And sometimes that happens. Sometimes you just have weird stuff happen and you just have to roll with it. Okay, so there should only be two. One to the master corner control and one to the master top control. And what's really nice to do every, when you have the time, it's not necessary, is just label your constraints. And just go um, like um, lip c dot dot l lip t. You don't have to have it nice, it just has to be clear. That's all you really need. But if we follow the convention, I'm doing that. And which one is this? This one's the corner. So. Oh, hold on. Okay, this should be set to. R. That makes sense. The world makes sense again. Put this to B. Oi. And now it'll only follow this guy. No. No! That's not what I wanted. No! <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Okay, 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 we know what we're going on. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, there, yes. Lip dot C dot L right. Good. Okay, let's see. Does this work? does lovely does this work it does everything works as it's intended now i just need to adjust the weights down here now since this is a simple rig i'm not going to add it with many other ludicrous controls um i might add like a bone to do a lip roll like this a lip roll of sorts. What's going on with my weights? I mean, I might do a lip roll where I have a control where there adds a lip roll, like a pucker and an et or something. I don't know if we need that, but at this point, you can add, I can add bones to the final rig if I wanted to, and I've already added enough constraints that I don't want to just manually regenerate the rig because I don't see that as necessary at this time. It's not an immediate necessity. And plus I got all these constraints, these lovely constraints, and I'd much rather not redo everything. And also save. Save a lot. We like to save. Now then, this ugly frown. We need to make sure this frown does not go upside down. All right, let me see. Waiting set to that. Okay, hold on. We still perfect. Still have it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give it a little more weight to this. As we have here and see if that helps fix it. Hmm. Oh. 
Now I almost think it makes it worse. Hold on. Lip B. Let's try. Okay, that fixes that. And the question is, will it ruin it when it goes up? Because sometimes when you fix a weight, the weighting will look good in one direction, but it won't look good in the other direction. So let us see. Yeah, that's what I thought. So this might need it to be, I might need to fix this with shape keys or something. Hold on, let me just see if I get rid of those down there. So going up, it looks fine. This is good, we like this, but going down, it does not look so fine. Now me, I'm just being extra finicky because that's how I am. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. When you're doing normal, when you're doing rigging for projects, you won't necessarily have to worry to this extent that I'm worrying about it. I'm just worrying this much because I want to. And this is, it's a volunteer project. When you're, it's a volunteer project that I'm doing for fun with a friend, it, you can be as finicky as you want or as not finicky as you want. Whereas when you're doing a project for pay or for other people, it doesn't matter so much. It matters more that the project is done. And it's done, and it's done well. All right, and how do we look going up? All right, good. We still look good going up. We want to maintain that. Save. Now then, let me see. We still have this here. Let's see if we can fix that. How long am I even growing? Okay, so now it looks good going up. Yay! It looks good in both directions. I am happy. Praise the Lord. Oh, that's great. Awesome! All right, I think I got my lips done. Yeah, yeah, this looks good. Well, at least uh, partially done. He's still going to need to... Let's go ahead and just because we can, let's see if we can add more weight to the top controls and all we need all we're gonna do is just whoop. so I've set my eyedropper to eye that's the little sh shortcut I've done there and for those of you who are nervous about painting uh, weight painting you treat it like it's actual painting and you okay okay what do you mean by that well an actual painting you can put down a layer, an extra layer of paint that's more than what you would necessarily need. But what you can do is you can go back and take some off by paint, painting another color on. But in our instance, I'm just blurring it. So I put a little extra weight on it than I normally want, than I would actually want, and then I just blur it a little bit. And now it's much more in, in line with what I actually want. And so, yeah, now let's try moving you up. Now, realistically speaking, I probably don't need it to go... What weight do we have here? 0.3? Let's put you to 0.35. Let's put you to 0.4. Let's put you to 0.5. And again, just weight it down a little more to closer in line with you actually what you actually want. I think I'm happy with that. Now let's just make sure everything works. Yes, it uh, almost hold on sounds it looks about good all right i think that's all i'm going to do for this video right now i hope you've learned something i hope you enjoyed me rigging this character and anyway i hope you're doing well and uh, yeah you guys take care all right bye bye